Hi, this is Charlie Industries. Thanks for stopping by my biotech site. And I have something on my mind that's been on my mind for a couple of months, something very interesting that's happening out there. It's a company called Helicos, H-E-L-I-C-O-S, Biosystems. I believe out in the West Coast somewhere, probably the Bay Area. And uh, they're involved in a razzle-dazzle technology called single-molecule DNA sequencing. Pretty cool stuff if you can really do it. Um, I have no reason to think they can't. It sounds like they have a great product. But here's the problem. Helicos is a company that uh, probably made a lot of promises to their board um, when they first raised their first round of financing, second round of financing, enough financing to get into commercialization, which I believe was 2008, their first full year of commercialization for their product. Made lots of promises, and of course they fell flat on their face. Um, not surprising, by the way. This is so typical of our marketplace, probably typical of lots of high technology marketplaces, in particular startup company, in particular VC-backed startup uh, companies. I don't know why it is. I don't know. Someone's drinking Kool-Aid somewhere. Uh, I've been involved in many of these companies, and by the way, I've been caught up in this, so I'm not guilt-free. But here's the scenario. The company has a great tool, probably licensed in from some university. They bring in all the top brains and CEOs and VPs that have a list a mile long of their background in terms of their successes. Good people. And they sit down with investors who they know, they don't know, they put the, basically get together and make promises for money. The promises are usually outlandish, and the VC community buys in. I never understood that. I really never understood it. But they do. And then the CEO and their people are on the hook for performance. Well, now what happens? A company like Helicos makes promises to sell their million point three dollar box and to sell multiple units in the United States. They're probably just attacking North America first. And they, um, I don't even know if they sold any. They placed a couple. I think they placed one at Stanford. Expression, um, expression analysis, I think they placed one just recently at the Broad Institute in Boston. Uh, I think one was just returned. I think it was expression. There's just returned their system. But, uh, and, and look, uh, don't get me wrong, I'm not painting them with a broad stroke and saying their technology is bad and they're going to fail. No, they're just a typical technology company. Their big challenge is that they have a huge ticket item and they just knocked 30% off the price of it or 25% off. So it's now a million dollar box and they're competing against the likes of Illumina and ABI, I think. I'm not an expert in this segment. And they're looking for those dollars. Now, let's assume it's a robust market out there. The economy's strong, and they're going after that million-dollar sale. I've been in those shoes. It is difficult. You've got to steal the money from somewhere else because typically it's not budgeted. If it is budgeted, it's for something a lot less expensive, maybe not as fancy. So there's a lot of salesmanship involved and saleswomanship. And I think what may be missing with Helicos and others like it is, well, number one, a dose of reality saying, wait a minute, let's say there are 25 centers out there that can really afford to put together the critical mass to buy this thing. And let's say um, maybe we get five of them. That's a $5 million revenue rate for that year. Is that good enough for the tens of millions of dollars that are raised by the venture capital community for that company? Good question. But I'll tell you one, one thing right now. They may be sending emails, they may be doing webinars, uh, they may be on the phone with these potential customers, but if they don't have the high touch with the high tech, they're going to fail. Companies like Helicos and Helicos will not succeed if it's based on technology only. Why do these researchers buy something like this when there's another lower ticket item available out there? A lot of it is called ego. We all have it. It's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. It's probably why they're in that position to begin with. But if a company like Helicos doesn't go out there and do a personal sale, visit the site, have dinner, understand the person behind the person, they're not going to succeed. So it's been on my mind, but I think you probably agree. But let me know if you don't. Big ticket item, tough economy, million dollars versus uh, equipment that arguably can do the same thing. Albeit, there are probably some bells and whistles that are much better on the Helico system. But boy, they better be selling people to people, not email to email. Anyway, this is Charlie Destries. Hope you have a great day. Let me know what you think. Hey, Helicos, I hope you kick ass. I really do. Take it easy.